Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another Windows 10 Fall Creators Update feature highlight as we are showing off and checking out some new features that will be arriving on October 17th on the Fall Creators Update. Well, one that I'm happy to um, have and that is great is how um, PDFs are handled in Windows 10 Fall Creators Update. Because for a long time we needed to have something else so that we could see that there's, you know, a PDF. We need to download Adobe uh, Acrobat Reader or some people were using um, some other, um, you know, third-party software like uh, Foxit Reader and so on. And I always thought, well, you know, to read PDFs, it's a nonsense to have to download something. It should be in Windows 10. Well, it is in Microsoft Edge and it's well done, I got to say. So here's a PDF that I'm going to open, actually. And here we have a PDF of a magazine that I actually am subscribed to. So it now works inside the um, Microsoft Edge browser. It works really well and has all the possibilities of, you know, making it bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do. Uh, have it fit to the page, have it full screen, and so on. I think that's a pretty cool thing. Also, there's a read aloud feature. You can click that and have your PDF read aloud by the Edge browser. So if you have some difficulty, for example, like this. Scanning, satellites, vintage radio and more THE volume 4 number 9 September 2017 ICOM ICR 8600 ALLBA and DALLMODERCEIVERPLUS So it's not perfect here it can read some of the things but you can you know like click somewhere and say I want to uh, you know read a part of it so it's going to read, of course, out loud. Monitor September 2017 antenna at Grim Eden, Sweden, radio station SAQ, courtesy. So Alexander Association HT. We're gonna stop it. So for people that have disabilities, this is a a good feature because basically it really enables people to read, uh, to have read aloud PDFs, which is nice. You can share with my people, of course. So uh, if you want to share your possibility. You have also the voice editing. You can choose the speed. You can choose the voice and everything. Another cool feature of the PDFs in Microsoft Edge is the fact that you can also ink these PDFs. And this is something very, very nice because you can now write over them, annotate, under, you know, if you want to underline or underscore something. Uh, you now also have the possibility to see the table of content of PDFs when available. In this case, it doesn't work, but it does work. It was available at some point. You see the number of pages. So there's a lot of things that are very, very nice in the PDF reader uh, that we have within Microsoft Edge now. Uh, very complete. And of course, if you've got a touch device, if you've got a pen, really cool because you can really annotate. If you have a pen, very, very nice also because you can actually sign a document. You know, that's one of the questions that was always kind of a little complex. How can I sign a PDF document? Well, you can sign it on your screen with your finger or a pen if you have a touch device. Also, you can actually have forms uh, fill up. So if you have a form to fill, you can actually fill it up within Edge and then save it as a PDF that is filled out and you can send it back to whoever wants to uh, review this and this. I think is probably one of the best features. Uh, you know, reading of PDFs within a browser is not new. If you look at Google Chrome, it was able to do it. And um, Firefox, I believe, also has a possibility to do it. But the thing is, none have the flexibility that Edge has right now, including the possibility to not only just, um, you know, fill up forms, but also to sign PDF documents if you have um, a touch device. So it's a cool, cool new feature coming up with Microsoft Edge and the Fall Creators Update, the uh, PDF reading, and um, basically uh, pretty much everything you need to do with PDFs is handled through the browser. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.